This is Teus Groenwa, Product Manager of ClickFX. In this video, I'll show you how you can use scene parameters within Prime Designer and within ClickFX uh, to do some data binding. Uh, a very um, powerful subject, especially when you start talking about linking data and triggering actions that you may have built into uh, the Prime scene. So in this screen here, um, as you can tell, we're starting out with Prime Designer. Uh, this video also is based on the assumption that you know a little bit about editing within Prime and authoring. Uh, including things like conditions. Um, so I'm highlighting this scene here, and we've built this out with a uh, actually a 3D look, a very nice look of the uh, Blue Jays lineup. Uh, we have our players listed, and we've already built in a few animations. These animations can show the highlighting of the player based on uh, whichever player is up to bat. So for instance, currently player one's up to bat, but if player two comes up to bat, we might play the P2 in, and the P1 out so that we transition nicely and change the highlight of the player. So we uh, let's do that for player three. You can see the nice highlight playing for player three. And for, in this case, we're doing this individually, but they would be triggered at the same time. So visually, you'd see a quick change in highlights. So these actions have already been built out. And what we've also done is we've built some parameters. Now, these are the links that will actually connect um, the data binding back up in the world of click effects. Uh, parameters are very, uh, very powerful. Um, they can hold integers or string values, things like that, that you can actually use uh, to transmit data to the scene. And in this case, the batting order parameter that we've added uh, is already set up to trigger a condition. And that condition, and, and these are the conditions I'm highlighting here, that condition runs an if else statement and again this might be a little bit technical but if you need more information about this uh, there's plenty of, uh, of, of good videos uh, available from the prime team to figure out how this works but um, the parameter then triggers the condition the condition then triggers based on its value uh, triggers the action and as you can see there's a really nice uh, play out based on the player that's up to bat and in this case we're triggering it um, we're triggering actions so back in Click Effects Prime, um, here's the same scene. Um, now, we're triggering actions in this example, but the scene parameters can be used for various different things. We could also use scene parameters to fill out these, these names of the players. Um, again, here's the scene, and we have a, a window here that shows all of the parameters, all of the scene parameters that are built into the scene. Um, you can get to this window from the window dropdown by selecting parameters. It gives you a nice overview. And I can now go ahead and preview uh, essentially the same thing I was doing in Prime Designer. I can preview that from my ClickFX authoring tool as well. When I set the value to two, you see it trigger the animation for the player number two. Uh, three, batting order number three highlights. So a very powerful, again, a very powerful tool here uh, in connecting up to these keyframe animations. So we've done the data changing manually, uh, but the next step would obviously be to automate that. And ClickFX has a lot of ways of automating by selecting data uh, fields or selecting XPath from XML, or maybe even a serial stream. In this case, uh, we're using an XML source that's pointing at a very simple XML file. For the purpose of this demonstration, we've just created a very simple file that only holds a home team and away team and uh, a number representing the current batter. Um, but this could be a much more complex file as long as we have data that we can bind to. And obviously this same XML can also be used differently uh, to use with the scene parameters to fill out these player names if we wanted to go down that route as well. So now that we've made this connection, we're going to hit save and close on the graphic and we're gonna bring it to air. Because now we wanna preview this by changing the XML uh, and we'll bring the graphic to air here. It's nicely transitioned in nicely. Um, now we're going to the XML. First player is highlighted. We change the XML to player number two. Second player is up to bat, and you can tell that the conditions and the scene parameters do their work uh, perfectly. And um, without even having to touch the system or having to intervene, it automatically now runs all of the actions that are built into this scene. And again, the strength of this is, is that you can design in Prime Designer uh, all of these animations without even having to bring it into ClickFX just yet. 
and you don't have to worry about the data binding you don't have to worry about the names and everything else you can uh, save that to scene parameters and then do the final work the data binding piece in click effects which is always recommended because that's your play out system and quick data binding edits uh, you want to do from the click effects prime system to keep that simple on the uh, game day operations